Yo what up guys, so in today's video what I want to do is show you how actually you can bypass a Windows Defender and it's very very easy. It requires just one Python script or one git clone from github if you want it. Let's call it that. Uh, so, as you can see I'm in actual Windows right now and what we're going to do, I'll show you that I'm running um, Windows Defender right now on the system. Um, this is just one firewall, There's, I'm not running anything else, I'm not running any third party firewall. So I'm just launching to show you for you. So as you can see this is the Windows Defender, right? This is, it's, it's on, which means in a second I'm going to show you how it's easily bypassed if you run the command. Now, technically it should stop because if you have a good firewall, I have tested this, a good good firewall, even if you have, um, technically even if you uninstall the firewall, it will still protect your computer from against these type of attacks. Because what happened is I have installed a, before I have basically installed a firewall, I have run a script, it worked. I un uninstalled the firewall, obviously it blocked it, right? I uninstalled the firewall and I was still blocking it, which means obviously the firewall helped and it's actually helping you. That's why I actually push people to buy a third party firewall because it's very, very important that you have one. But I'm gonna show you now um, how to basically protect yourself against these type of attacks. Now, obviously the easy answer is firewall, but what I mean is I'll show you how to do it, sorry. So, uh, let's get to Kali Linux, and I'm just going to show you, okay, there we go, so this is Kali Linux now. So in today's video we're going to use Villain. Now I'll try and zoom it in for you, zoom in, control plus plus, I'll try and zoom it in for you. Uh, there we go. Just for a second I'm just going to zoom in. So basically I'm using Villain, In the next video what I'll do is show you how to get Villain and how to run Villain. But for today I'm just going to show you um, how you can bypass it very easily. So, the firewall, sorry, very easily. So, we need to do is help generate, because I cannot remember the command exactly, and what we need to do is generate um, payload windows windows netcat powershell reverse tcp, I guess. Yep, lhost, obviously ec0, and we need to use, for this we need to obfuscate, which means now this is just a quick reminder, this is Windows 10, it's not that old. It was a different story if I was running Windows 8, 7, XP, anything like that, but I'm running Windows 10, which is just one version below Windows 11, right? Now you can ask why am I telling you this? The reason is because Windows 10 is supposed to be the one of the most secure systems along with Windows 11. And as you can see in a second, as I'll show you, if you run PowerShell, <coughs> if you run PowerShell, and you paste the command. Oh, sorry, because the reason is because I need to get it again to work. There we go, now I should. Now the reason is sometimes copying this might be cause a problem. The reason is because it doesn't copy fully, as you can see, I will show you. Um if I can make this bigger. Um as you can see this is process, process instead of start process, right? Which is important that you have the full payload. Now let's go back to Kali. As you can see, we're back in Kali, and as you can see we have a new pop-up. Shell, backdoor session established on 192.168.11.150, which is the IP address of my, um, uh, what's it called, the victim. Copy this. By the way, remember, so as soon as you hit the shell, what you need to do is copy stuff. I strongly suggest what, uh, actually typing the, either typing the stuff out or copying it using the mouse. The reason is, um, as you can see, we're in the system. Uh, let me just finish the sentence. And um, the reason is because if you press Control C, it closes. Actually, it closes the the session, which you, you you don't want to do, right? So therefore, you need to just highlight it, copy selection, and paste it into the terminal. Okay. So now what we have actually is full control of the system. What we can do is ls cd desktop, and we can actually we're in control of this whole computer. And we can do a lot of stuff. We can upload files. Actually, let's, let's do flee for now, is it? No, sorry. I mean, it's just control C. Yep, control C. Now, control C, the reason I says control C is to close the PowerShell. Right, because I want to basically interact. We can upload files, for example. Um, let's do help. Uh, you can, as you can see, you can upload stuff. You can kill the session. You can do a lot of stuff. Now, I'm not going to do this because that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show you that Windows Defender is absolute dog shit. 
because with a good firewall this should have never happened yeah so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna switch to another operate uh, virtual machine where i have installed the uh, third party firewall and i'll show you that actually stops this attack so let me just switch to my um other computer and i will see you in a second now this is my um, actual sort of operating system, whatever you want to call it, uh, my virtual machine that I use for videos. Um, and what happened is, as you can see, I have a third party firewall, which is AVG. Now AVG is actually what happens is, it protects your computer even with the free version and even if you uninstall it. Because what happened, uh, well, I'll show you in a second, even after uninstalling it. Okay, so I have the payload now, I'll show you the same thing, right, remember. We have the third party firewall. As you can see, and what I'm going to do is the same thing. It's the same operating system. I'm going to show you that in this case, it's nothing. It's not allowing you to do anything. I'm going to try actually do on, um, as you can see, I'm doing again. What I'm going to do is create another one, another um, payload with another basically sort of, sort of the big encode. Um, basically, there's two things where you can do. Obfuscate and encode. Now, as you can see, I've pasted payloads. These are both payloads, right? And I'll show you in Kali what happens as soon as I've pasted it. I'll show you. Uh, Kali. Let me just switch the screen. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is Kali. So as you can see, there's nothing in Kali. There's nothing. This is the both payloads I just created. And as you can see, sessions or backdoors, and there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here, which means third party firewall obviously protects this against this type of attack because it's a it's a stupid thing because what happens is it bypasses the firewall and uh, injects the payload that allows you remote access to the computer, which is stupid, which is should not happen with with an actual make Microsoft Defender as well, which should not never allow. But as you saw two seconds ago, it just it allowed it, which should never happen. Therefore, I'm suggesting to get a third party firewall. Um, as I said before in my previous videos, in the comment section there's a malware bytes which I do recommend buying. Um, you can have AVG, I also recommend, I don't have an affiliate link by the way. The links in the comment sections, they're not sponsored, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just giving you products that I believe are good. Obviously if you buy it from my link, you're supporting the channel, which allows me to basically give you guys back, for example I can do giveaways with this. Um, income I earn from them. Uh, I can do giveaways. You I can give you subscriptions. I can buy you stuff. There's a lot of I can do, um, which I'm actually planning to do because I've hit 100 subscribers. Thank you very much to has to everyone who has subscribed and wants to support me in the future. Thank you very much. I'm planning to do something. Uh, I just need to think about what, and I hopefully you like the the stuff I give you guys back. Um, so as I said, so the first thing you need to do is always upload um, obviously scan files with virus total, firewall, firewall malware bytes, AVG and uh, Avast. They're the top three. I would not really if you were to buy it, if you were to buy any other ones, I recommend highly recommend doing some good research. Do not use Kaspersky because Kaspersky is linked to the F uh, KGB, which is the Russian Intelligence Agency, whatever you want to call it, FSB. I don't know what it's called. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my, I don't, hopefully my final video. Maybe Microsoft will do something about Microsoft, Microsoft Defender. Um, because as I said micro, in my past videos, Microsoft Defender is very shit. And I will continue to say this until they fix it. I don't believe they're going to fix it because of my video, but maybe they will fix it in the future. So hope you've enjoyed the content. And if you can leave a like, subscribe, and give me a big kiss, I'll be very happy. And see you in the next video. Thank you guys.